One common question I get is how do I delete all my data from QuickBooks Online and start over? So there's no button you can press for that, but there's sort of a hidden link that allows you to do that. Now, the first thing is your account needs to be within 60 days of creation. If your account is more than 60 days old, you may need to call support to be able to do something like this, or maybe just create a new account and really start over for real. But if you have an active QuickBooks Online account and you wanna just purge the data or delete all the data and start over from zero, it's pretty easy. What you're going to do is you're going to first log into QuickBooks Online. And on this fa sample file here, there's some information. Notice that there's some profit and loss information, expenses, some balances here on their bank accounts, some income. If I go into my accounting chart of accounts, I'm going to see a whole bunch of accounts in my chart of accounts. So what I want to do is I want to delete everything that's there, uh, transactions, customers, vendors, accounts, items, everything, basically start from zero. So the way you do it is you come up to the address bar up here. You're going to see the address bar that at the end will end with forward slash homepage. What you're going to do is you're going to replace the word homepage with the word perch company. And it will look like this. So you're going to replace the word homepage with perch company. You're going to leave everything behind perch company exactly the same way it was there before. And that's really all you do. You're going to type that in there. So after you type it, you're going to hit enter on your keyboard. And I'll take you to this screen, which is going to say, are you sure you want to wipe all the QuickBooks Online data? It will say the following will be deleted. So all your transactions, all your customers, all your vendors, all your accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and type yes here on the bottom right. So all the way to the bottom right, I'm going to type yes, Y-E-S, and then click on OK. Then to start over, it's going to ask you what type of business do you have and basically ask you for the industry uh, because uh, based on the industry, QuickBooks will know how to create the default settings. So I'm just going to pick uh, one industry here at random. I'll pick here other accounting services. And then here, the second question is, should I create a new set of accounts based on the industry? So at that point, you can click on yes and QuickBooks will create a brand new a chart of accounts, or you can click my favorite one, which is an empty chart of accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on wipe data. And once it's done, once you go back to the dashboard, it should say zeros all over. And then if I go into accounting chart of accounts, it's easiest and fastest way to see it. I'm going to see all the accounts went away and it will only keep uh, sort of the default accounts that QuickBooks is uh, forced for you to use, which is about a set of about five accounts. So it wiped all the data using that process. And if you want to recreate your chart of accounts, you come in here to new and you create your account based on what it is. Uh, check out a different video that I have where I kind of break down uh, different accounts and account types and how to build a chart of accounts that works for you. And also in that same video, I'm going to put the description below. I'm going to explain how to import the data from Excel. So if you happen to have an Excel spreadsheet with all your chart of accounts, you can import that once you start from scratch. Anyway, I think that's helpful. Hit like, subscribe to the channel, add some comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I'll see you in the next one.